Welcome to another devlog episode for Punch a Bunch. It's only been a month and a bit since we embarked on this journey, but we've already come such a long way. Last week we had 10,000 subscribers and our boxing game is really coming along nicely. Things are really looking good. Okay, I have huge plans for this episode. I'm on a mission to get a version of this game out that you guys can play. I want the game to be in a state where you can basically play against an opponent locally. Every action I take needs to take me in that direction. I'm so excited about this, it's gonna be good. But right now, I'm waiting for my dog to do her thing. I kicked off the week by fixing a few things that have been bugging me. I disabled physics on the legs so that they don't droop behind the player anymore. I also improved the camera a bit. Before I was completely locked to the player's movement and felt a bit stiff. This actually turned out to be a very easy fix. See, I'm using a spring arm to control the camera's position and in the settings for the spring arm, I found a useful feature called camera lag. This adds a small delay to the camera when you move your player, leading to a much smoother experience. Sort of like a cameraman trying to keep up with the player. Okay, it's time to properly start developing the combat system for our game. The first thing I want to do is to add a proper punch animation. I'm going to go with a power hook because not only will it look cool, it'll also be great for testing purposes as well. Alright, this looks kind of lame, but okay, hear me out. So we're gonna speed this up, and then when we run physics on top of this, I think it's gonna look pretty cool. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Let's find out. Because our previous punch system was so simple and basically just blended between two keyframes, I had to rejig some of my animation logic to allow for a real animation to be activated, play out its thing, and then return to our normal pose. Alright, it, it it's kind of working, but... I don't know, it looks more like he wants to cuddle or something. <laughs> There's some monkey business going on here. It doesn't look like he's completing the animation, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, not this again! Ah! Super epic mode engaged. So I did a little bit of digging and it turns out that the problem was that I was blending in and out of the animation which prevented it to fully play out start to finish. No biggie, I got it working and to my surprise, it's working out quite nicely. I lowered the camera a bit so that we can see what's going on and which is interesting on its own. Kind of looks weird from this perspective. So what's interesting is that I made the animation so that right before we initiate the punch, we sort of raise the arm up a little so that the punch is more like more like this, right? So before we kind of went like this, which caused our glove to constantly get stuck in the opponent's glove. But now this way, we're sort of reaching above the gloves. This pretty much made the whole problem of it being a bit brawly just almost completely go away. And check this out, if I lean down and punch, it becomes like a body shot. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, I need to make sure that there's a bit of a delay before you can punch it again. <laughs> Okay, so we got a real punch animation playing and we got rid of a lot of that brawly feeling that we had before. So overall, we made some great progress today. But the punch right now, it just doesn't look powerful yet. See that? It's just not satisfying, you know what I mean? So I feel like that's what we need to work on next. But it's late here and it's time for bed. The problem right now is that our opponent isn't reacting to our hit. See, whenever we get a hit, we need our opponent to react in some way, like, you know, like a playing like a hit animation to really exaggerate that contact. I think that'll fix our problem. However, today is Tuesday, which means it's a regular work day. It's currently uh, 10 after 8. I'm gonna eat this breakfast, do a morning run, go to work, and then we're gonna work on the game. That's right! I've been sticking to my promise of doing my daily exercise. Wow, 
Alright, so I finished work. Still working from home, so uh, the commute is a lot shorter than usual, which is nice. Alright, so let me explain what we need to do next. We need to make an animation for our boxer when he gets hit, like a reaction animation, if you will. But right now we have no real way of knowing when we're actually landing a punch. So we need to build some sort of system that detects when a punch is being landed so that we can then play this animation and in the future add damage to the player. I currently have Unreal printing out a message with whatever body we're colliding with. This is a great start as we only want to play the animation when we're hitting the opponent's head. All right, this is cool. The hits are now registering. I also found a cool function that tells us at what speed the glove is colliding with the head at. I was thinking we could use this as some sort of system to determine how much damage we're, we're dealing to our opponent. Like, you know, the faster the glove hits the head, the more damage we're dealing. But unfortunately, it's a little... <sighs> So, okay, look, so I'm printing the impact speed here and they just seem a bit volatile. And when I like try to swing the body with a punch to, to land a harder hit, it just doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. So I just don't feel like this is gonna be predictable enough to feel fair to the player. So we're gonna have to come up with a different system, but I still think it's pretty cool. Okay, anyways, we have the hits registering now that we've punched the head, so I think we're in a really good place where we can actually make this hit animation and put it in the game and have the players interact with each other. I moved over to Blender and quickly made a new animation. I'm starting to feel really confident in my Blender to Unreal workflow. I've created these export settings so that I can quickly make something in Blender and bring it over to Unreal within seconds. <laughs> All my animations look so lame. Like, it just looks like a two-year-old did it, but... <laughs> Again, I, I really feel like the when we put the physics on top of it, it's gonna look epic. Let's see, let's try it. All we need to do now is to tell the opponent to play the animation when we hit him. Unreal already has a system built in which you can use to send damage between objects. This will work great in our case. We can use it to tell the opponent that it was hit, and in the future, we can also use this to send how much damage we dealt. Woohoo! This is starting to feel nice! Oh man, yeah, it's starting to look really satisfying now. Okay, now, remember how I said in uh, a couple of episodes ago how we could relax the muscles whenever we hit the player so it looks like they're like <laughs> running out of steam? Well, I think we're in a place where we can actually do that right now, so why don't we do that? Okay, so I actually, I set the strength to zero now, so it's probably gonna look a little weird, but I think it's it'll be good for just testing purposes. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, that's so cool though. That's, okay, so, okay, let's just tweak the muscle strength a little bit. Oh, man, that looks so cool. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I didn't realize it would make that much of a difference. And see, Totally fine, the animation looks great. One little thing that I'm noticing is that, so right now, like as soon as we've hit him, he just loses his strength and he never gains it back. So I'm just gonna add a little timeline with a curve that enables us to bring the muscle strength back up. And, and using this timeline, it'll sort of just smoothly ramp back up. So it's kind of like, right? And I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Man, <laughs> let's be honest here. It's starting to look really cool. Is that just me? What do you think? Does it look satisfying? Like, I feel like it's starting to look really cool and like, I don't know, like satisfying somehow. What do you think? Is it, is it just me? Or like, let me know in the comment what you think. It would be really great to get your feedback at this point. Remember how we spent pretty much the entire last episode figuring out those IK controls? Uh, well, I turned those off. I'm not using them at all. <laughs> okay, well, it, it, let me explain. <laughs> I think it was a good idea and I'm super happy we set them up because I, I do feel that once we get into the nitty and gritty of things, we're gonna end up needing them anyway. So I don't think it was a waste of time. But the reason I'm not using them is because now setting up these animations, it just doesn't feel like we need them because 
I kind of like the idea that you can actually miss a punch. I think that creates a really dynamic and adds tension to the game. Whereas with these IK controls, it felt more like a magnet than a punch. That you just the hand just got sucked to the head and then just stuck to it. And it just didn't really feel like a proper hit. But you know, this is all part of game dev. Sometimes you end up spending a whole lot of time on something that in the end just doesn't work out. And that's okay. I'm so happy about our progress on the game so far. I was actually gonna end the episode here, but I feel like we're on such a great roll that I just wanna keep going. So I think let's use this momentum and, and keep going. I just gotta run one quick little errand first and then we can get back to the game. Allergy med set. I know, it's not super exciting, but uh, it's the season and I'm in pain. Imagine the views these people have. Look, they each have a private patio. And the city and the mountains are right there, behind those trees. Every time, no matter how long you've been gone. Five hours, five minutes, same thing. <gasps> yeah, I'm, I'm reading through your comments and quite a few of you are suggesting that we make a pair of shorts for our boxer. And that actually works out really well for me because let's be real guys, everyone knows that any legit game on the market today needs to have two things, in-game currency and skins. Seriously though, I think adding shorts to the game is a great idea and it'll allow for some customizations for the player. So let's make some shorts. Jeez, what am I doing? This is... Uh, <laughs> what is this even supposed to be? Why am I sucking so much? How is this supposed to become short? Like, what, what, what is this? Is this a mouse? Is that a keyboard? I took a break and started over and finally got a pretty decent base for the shorts. I then moved over to using Blender sculpting tools to move everything into place and made sure they properly fit our character. Okay, I think we're looking all right with the shorts now, <laughs> finally. I decided to leave them on kind of low, almost as if they're about to fall off. I don't know why, I just thought it looked kind of funny. Next, I gotta attach them to our character rig, bring them over to Unreal Engine and see what they look like. And there we have it, shorts. I think they're awesome. So obviously we're gonna make this customizable to the player so that you can change colors and stuff like that. But yeah, super cool. And and here's a little uh, bonus bonus for you. I found this uh, camera shake tool earlier and I hooked it up to play when we hit our opponent so that we get an impact. Here, check this out. Boom, boom, boom. How cool is that? I mean, I think this type of shake is more appropriate for when you're actually getting hit. It feels like you're the one getting hit, but I still, I think it's just, it proves a point that it's just gonna be so cool. And so I think what we'll do for when you actually hit is more like a zoom in instead and maybe change the color slightly of the screen so that when you do a really big impact, you make it brighter so you feel like it's like bang. And then when you obviously get hit, you get the rumbling. All right, so much amazing progress this episode. I, I'm so happy. See, last episode just felt like, 
we just got stuck, you know, and we didn't really get anywhere. I really wanted to make some serious progress in this one. Next episode, I'd love to make some more of those hit animations and maybe even a few different types of punches. I usually release some sneak peeks throughout the week on Twitter, so if you're really eager, you can always follow me there. And if you don't want to miss the next episode, consider subscribing and hit the bell so you get notified. And before you go, I also, again, just want to say thank you for all your support. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did and uh, as usual, stay regular and I'll see you in the next episode.